So many of you use the downloader app, um, use it whether it's on Fire Stick, Android TV, even your mobile phones, but people have issues. And I get a lot of comments, I can't install this app, I can't do that. It says pass error, it says this, app uninstalled. So we're gonna go through a few of the basics in a way, the sort of um, how do you check if your download's working correctly and what do you do if it's not. Okay, no matter what platform you're watching on, if you can look up Doc Squiffy on YouTube, if you're on YouTube already, hit that subscribe button, share this video, and obviously drop me a comment about it. And if you're watching on other platforms, hitting that follow button really helps. So Downloader, for those who don't know, is an application a bit like a web browser. So with it, what you can do is search the internet and download your favorite apps. No difference than you would with Chrome, um, other web browsers, but on things like Fire Sticks and Android TV, it, you can't get those web browsers, so you have to use Downloader. And a lot of people get pass errors, things like this, and there's a few reasons why. So to get Downloader on your device, you go to your app store, whether it's Google Play Store, um, your Amazon app store, and you type in Downloader. Kind of makes sense. D-O-W. You get to Downloader, you click it, you install it, okay? Enter URLs, browse websites, or internet shortcodes to easily download files such as APKs from the internet to your Fire TV, phone, or Android stuff. You then open it. Obviously, it will explain it to yourself, but what normally pops up here, if it's your first time, it needs access to your storage. And this is one of the biggest things that people do not do. It will say, can we have access to your media and your files? And people think, well, no, of course you can't. We don't want you doing that. But without that access, it can't install applications. It needs access to your storage, your media, your files to save the applications it downloads. So first thing I'm going to ask you all to do, if you're on a Fire Stick or your Android TV, go to Settings, Applications. In here, you go to Manage Installed Applications and then go down to Downloader, okay? Once in Downloader, you can obviously, you can clear the cache. Um, if it's not working, we recommend clearing cache only if an app's not working. Apart from that, clearing cache isn't needed as I stated in my last video. But if you look under permissions, let me know what it's allowed, like your files and media. Does it say deny? Or does it say allow access to media files? Because that's what it needs. Allow downloader to access photos and media on your device. That's what it needs. So make sure that's turned on. And you've got remove permissions if app isn't used. I'd turn that off just in case you wonder, well, why is that permission suddenly gone? That will make a big, big difference if you haven't got it already, okay? Other options are, there's a few different things which can happen is, um, the likes of Kodi, other apps used to not get passed or be able to be used because of your safeguards on your internet. Whether it's um, over 18 filters, um, you get like Smart, whatever it is on Sky and all those sort of companies, and BT, and you have to opt out so you can even access adult websites if you want to. So you need to get opt out of them on your internet provider, but I don't know who your provider is. And obviously, you can also obviously connect to a VPN. If you're on a VPN server, it makes things very different. So you can hit that connect, be connected to a VPN server. You can file up downloader. The main code I would recommend would be um, 75726, which is my website, linked underneath as well if you're watching on YouTube. But 7526, you can click go. And once that goes through, you'll be able to download whatever you want from my website, okay? But try these different tips. Sometimes you might need a different server on your VPN but that, that's what's there to stop it being blocked, okay? Then you can download as you go, no problem. I could hit one of these, it doesn't really matter which one, let's try that one. Our permissions are on, I'm on a VPN, I'll hit download. And boom, downloading. But I go all the way, I'll go through to installing as well. So it pushes through, you download it, you then click install. And done it's that simple and then you delete that file obviously there is options where people may have forgotten the sort of developer options if you're on a fire stick so on a fire stick your developer options are under the settings so 
go under settings uh, you go to my fire tv developer options if you do not have those developer options you click on where it says about you tap that name the top one uh, i think it's seven or eight times and it will say you're a developer then developer options appear and you can go to install unknown apps and you make sure it's turned on for downloader to allow downloader to install other applications that are not from amazon app store okay that should be all the tips obviously final options is you turn off your fire stick you unplug it throw it out the window no you don't throw it out the window and then you can, if that doesn't work do a factory reset and then go again brilliant obviously as you all saw i did demonstrate a vpn there if you're after a vpn um we are partnered with ip vanish so if you are interested i'll link that directly underneath that's linked underneath for you on a great discount that discount's not going to last for much longer so if you are after one get one now we get a small commission does help support the channel and you get your vpn at the same time brilliant so i've been doc squiffy thank you all for watching if you're watching on youtube hit that subscribe button any other platform hit that follow button the link for the vpn is above docsquiffy.com forward slash vpn offer and you'll find it in many comments and other options brilliant i'll see you soon